The next time you're at a coffee shop or internet cafe, be on the lookout for a guy with a plastic pineapple. It's a Wi-Fi hotspot honeypot, and, and it's great in a situation like this where we're at a coffee shop and uh, you know people are on Wi-Fi with their computers here um, because this guy just wants to become your friend. That's Darren Kitchen, producer and host of Hack 5. Inside his pineapple is a battery pack with a hacked router running a piece of software that tricks wireless users into connecting to it, meaning he can eavesdrop on someone's online activities. Scary, I know. Uh, this is just a fun thing to toss in your bag and go to a coffee shop and, and have some mischievous fun. He's been stirring up trouble since. I was old enough to take apart an Atari 2600 or you know, uh, beg my mom to get me an IBM PC XT. And that's how I spent many summers, just you know, dorking around with my computer, um, just finding myself in all sorts of mischievous fun that any teenager would be otherwise. Mine just so happened to be in the digital realm. So from a 14-year-old kid teaching himself how to hack into pre-internet bulletin board systems to the producer of a tech show dedicated to mods, hacks, and other DIY exploits, the culture's definitely come a long way. Geek is just so much more socially acceptable now, so their, their hacker friends or their computer friends aren't those unapproachable nerds that they, they might have you know, seemed to have been. Besides trying to hack into things, Kitchen also manages several company networks to try to keep hackers out. And straddling that fence gives them an inside perspective on how secure our computers really are. I'll say that when I started doing the show about hacking in 2005, I, I thought I knew some stuff. And just the more people I've met and the more I've known, the more I realized what I didn't know. And you get into this, uh, this circle where you're like, whoa, and you're learning these new exploits. And then you just realize you just how Swiss cheese the whole network is and uh, inherent trusts that really shouldn't be there. To watch Kitchen and his co-hosts exploiting those trusts in a totally non-evil way, of course, visit hack5.org. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas.